Hello everybody, my name is Sanders07 and in this video I'm going to show you how to download server texture packs. So I'm starting this far away from doing it. I'm starting at loading up just so that everyone knows exactly where to go. So you want to start up your Minecraft and you want to click play. Make sure you're in the right version. We'll wait for this to load up and I'm going to go to game capture and quickly log into the server you'll see a black screen now because I'm going in and out of full screen as I select my realm so that you don't see it because I don't want people to like find my house on the server and wreck it or whatever so yes this is the default texture pack that the this is the texture pack the server has I will prove it by resource pack I'm on default Boom. To prove it, I can also load up OP pack or whatever. Version 2. Doesn't change. Take it off. Doesn't change. And as you can see, I am on default. I will disconnect. I will click cancel. I will go to my farms map. You can see that since I'm on default, it is the normal default texture pack. Now, if I go to the stereo.vip and I put that on, you will see that it's the same texture pack as on the server. That's because I've downloaded it, and I'm going to show you how to do that yourself. So, I'm going to log out of Minecraft. I'm going to go to monitor capture. So, you're on your monitor. So, what you want to do from there is you want to press the Windows key and R on your keyboard. That will open up Run and with run you want to type in percent so shift and five app app and then data d a t a and then shift and five again for percent so percent app data percent you want to click enter or you want to click ok and it'll open up this app data roaming you want to open up drop minecraft and now from here you want to go to server dash resource dash packs open that and you have these things so I'll use the Disteria one again the di uh, legacy underscore Disteria zip so you want to double click on the pack you want I'll show it with another one afterwards and you want to open it with Internet Explorer and now you want to click open and you want to scroll down until you get WinRAR Archiver now I'm not going to show if I can find the location I downloaded my WinRAR from I will uh, link it, but you can easily get it just by going on your computer and going to w Googling WinRAR. And is it this one right here? Uh, no, it is not. This one. Uh, no. This one? Let me check. Nope. Is it this? Um, let me check here. I don't know if that's the one, but let me check this. Because I know what the web page I downloaded it from look like. Um with something like this, I'm not sure. I'm sure you can find it, but oh here maybe. Um Um I don't want it to download. WinRAR is my favorite compression tool because it lets Shish. Well, I don't know where the download is, but I'm actually going to go to downloads and I'm going to remove it. So, yeah, you just got to download it from the internet. Uh, hopefully you won't get a, um, you know, virus. But once you open up this, you want to go back to your .minecraft and you want to open up resource packs now from here you want to right click you want to go to new and you want to open you want to make a new winrar zip archive do not make a winrar archive it must be winrar zip archive it has to be zip or it won't work so once you create that you just want to rename it anything so i'll do disteria tutorial now you want to open that i'm going to put it up in this corner of the screen so that I can open the other winner here 
next to it. What you want to do is you want to highlight these three things like that by click and dragging and then you want to click on one of them and drag it over to the Dysteria tutorial. It'll do some stuff over here, ex copying them over here and it'll say archive name and parameters. You just want to click OK. It'll put the stuff there and then you're good to go. So if I close all of this and I reopen Minecraft uh, once it's done, play I will be able to it will open up. Let me go to game capture quickly. So it pops up, single player, go to farms. And this time is I'm gonna go to Dysteria Tutorial dot zip. And as you can see, it worked. So I'm gonna show you how, once again how to do this but with another texture pack. So I'm gonna quit the game. I'm gonna go to monitor capture now uh whoops that's the wrong one windows key and r brings up run in run you want to type percent app data percent to get the percents you push shift and five together you want to click enter or ok you want to go to dot minecraft server dash resource dash packs and open that i'm going to open legacy underscore res wizards zip you can open any of the ones that are there and you want to click Internet Explorer. Now you won't, it'll pop up few downloads Internet Explorer. You want to find the one Legacy underscore Res Wizards Zip or whichever one from here you chose to open with Internet Explorer, and we'll click Open. Now it'll open this part up. You want to scroll down until you see WinRAR Archiver. You want to click that, and it'll pop up. Now you can close this and go back to Dot Minecraft. Go to Resources resource pack sorry go to new do not use make a new winrar archive it must be winrar zip archive it can't be winrar archive it has to be winrar zip archive once you create that you want to rename it whatever you want i'm going to do mineplex wizards because that's where the texture pack comes from you want to open it put it to one side of the screen so then you can have the other one next to it. You want to click, drag over them, the ones in this folder, the zip, and you want to drag them over. You'll see it extracting, and then it'll be here. Click OK. It'll bring it over. Now you can close all of this, and you can once again reopen Minecraft and click play. But on this one, I'm going to do a bit different. I'm not going to go to the farms map. I'm actually going to create a new map and I'm going to name it Tutorial for YouTube. Create a new world. Um, once it loads, I'm going to put it to peaceful mode because we don't need to deal with hunger and things like that. So, peaceful. Okay, what's with the lag? Um, computer, stop dying. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna put the texture back on. Mineplex Wizards. There we go. Much didn't change because they don't really change. The texture bag isn't really changed at all. Maybe the water's a bit different. I'm not entirely sure. 100% at all what's changed. But if I take this and I make planks. The sticks look like wands. Now, if I open a LAN, allow cheats, start. Oh, wait. Uh, chat. Shown. Slash. Game mode. Creative. Another thing, I have enders. Look like that. Um, saddle is the rainbow. Care on a stick is flame. Those are the different spells in the game. You pick those up like all of these. These are different. You pick them up. Uh, I'm sure you wouldn't want to play this using like the actual texture pack because you see a bunch of coal. Let me get my diamonds. Like uh, f five, six, seven, eight. If I go back to survival, 
The armor's pretty cool. But you're like, ooh, cool. And I do, 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 do. Wait, why do I have fireballs? Like, bah, bah, bah. but they don't fire. So, it's cool to have it and look around with it. But, I wouldn't use that texture pack. But it was just an example of how to do it, so I hope this helped you download a, get a texture pack from a multiplayer server that you really enjoyed using to be able to use it for single player. And if it did help you, leave a like, comment, saying thanks, whatever you want to do. Favorite the video so you can watch it again if you need to remember. If you forget at some point, share it with your friends, your family, anybody you see that wants that needs help with getting a minecraft server texture pack into single player and possibly leave a subscription uh... thanks for now and i will see you guys in the next video of whatever it is that i make you can even leave suggestions on what i could do a tutorial on in the future or what other games i could do videos on in the future thank you guys and i'll see you in the next video bye bye